So my name's Lisa, I'm the Ward Manager on Ward 6 at the Harplands. My name's Sarah, I'm the Deputy Ward Manager on Ward 6 at the Harplands. The gardens idea came from a, um, a QI project, so we're le um, reducing restrictive practice that's been um, led by Rob Salito. We were asked to find something that we could perhaps reduce patients' levels of observations. So through looking at the past history of some of the patients, it was found that a lot of them were interested in gardening and had also kept allotments previously before coming in. So we thought, well, what, you know, what better idea than to do our own garden, grow our own garden. Um, so as you can see, um, it, it all started off from seeds. So a lot of the patients were involved in planting the seeds and, and then throughout their journey on Ward 6 have been coming out here regularly, watering the garden. Um, picking, you know, just like things like deadheading the flowers and um, just helping the activity workers really and the staff um, and it has reduced our observations levels down immensely really um, and also we've done it from a sustainability point of view so in the background we've got um, a wheelbarrow which was ready for the tip um, so we've just, you know, sanded it all down and painted it we've got um, wooden pallets and also the tyres um, behind you as well so um, and that was it really so we just wanted to do it to um, focus on the trusts um, you know the current sustainability project that we've got going and also to do something that we could involve the patients with um, in reducing restrictions really. So obviously patients have been coming out like Lisa said and they've been getting involved in sort of the growing of the process and the watering so yeah it has brought sort of the patients are enjoying being out here when the sun was out they're having you know time out here spending time looking at the garden they've come out with the families when they visited so patients do seem a lot calmer on the ward you know and engaging better they're having conversations you know about the, the food that we're growing at the moment that the staff have got um, so they are sort of really enjoying that as well. Hi I'm Steve I'm the activity co coordinator on Ward 6. And I'm Sarah, activity worker on Ward 6. So we thought we'd put all our focus into using the vegetable garden, grow your own. Um, we started it I think about springtime and obviously the patients were fully involved with getting all the little seedlings together, planning the sort of um, veg that we were going to grow. Um, and they were sort of fully on board. We also got relatives involved too. Um, so we've really concentrated on this veg area. Some of our patients, they suffer with the sundowning. Um, so I found it useful with some of the, well, some of the ladies as well as the gents, bringing them out in the evening, we water the plants. It keeps them calm. Um, so they have really enjoyed, you know, sort of doing that in, in the late evening. I've had a couple of patients where we've sat here at breakfast and they've had the breakfast in the morning outside. Well we're hoping that we're going to get enough pumpkins to be able for each patient and their um, nominated health care so we can do a pumpkin carv pumpkin carving competition so using the ones that we've grown instead of going out and buying buying the pumpkins. Well Sarah, Sarah and myself are going to get our heads together aren't yeah. we and we're sort of going to plan a sort of um, autumn winter season if you like which is your broad beans it'll be um, onions. onions cabbages etc I'm sure for all you gardeners out there you'll add a few things yourself but um, they are what we we are going to concentrate on really we're just proud the, of the area yeah I think. yeah yeah, yeah. I, th I think but not just us to everybody there's been another lady yeah. Carol in um, one of the health cares I don't think we would have done as much as we have without Carol she's been you know, she's been absolutely amazing. Um, no, we're just very proud, aren't we, for yeah, how yeah. well and surprised actually how how everything's grown. You know, brilliant, amazing, especially the pumpkins. I'm Tracy Flanagan, I'm the registered service manager at the specialist children's short break service up at Dragon Square. Right, so the outdoor space has always been here since the unit opened but it wasn't accessible at all for a number of years. Uh, there was just all overgrown plants, so the children never came out here. And then in 2019, um, it was, I think it was raised by Ofsted about having an outdoor uh, space for the children to play in. And um, so we started a business case and we had a number of um, planning meetings. And we did quite a 
detailed plan of what we wanted in the outdoor area. We had occupational therapy involved, different people to make sure that we were meeting the children's needs. Uh, and then we had a grand opening on the 21st of June mm. in 2019. The children and young people, uh, obviously just being out in the fresh air, um, it gives them lots of social opportunities, chance to have fun, but we meet sensory needs, we have lots of water play um, out here. Obviously exercise, children are running up and down, they're on the trikes. Obviously it's more about promoting play mm. um, at this side of the bungalow. Yeah, I'm Gemma and I'm a staff nurse here at Shortbreak Services at Dragon Square. It's completely different as you can see from the other side of the garden. Um, promoting a little bit more different things. We do a bit of gardening with the children for the children that can do the gardening this side. Yeah, so we've got a sunken trampoline which a lot of the children and young people like. We had um, a trampoline previously but it wasn't accessible to those children and young people who um, are less mobile, maybe in wheelchairs, whereas this one we have got a portable hoist yeah. so we can they can access it as well. And it's great for a lot of our children who've got high sensory needs. Hi, I'm Anne Melville, Head of Facilities. These wildflowers are part of our uh, sustainability project. The Trust had a sustainability celebration earlier this year and these flowers were part of the increasing, increasing the biodiversity of our Harpland site. They have really added colour and brightened up our car park as well as making it a nicer space for people to visit. We've had lots of compliments from clients, visitors and staff and we're hoping to be able to extend into further areas on the site and other locations next year. It will be good to see the flowers bloom again in spring and I look forward to it.